What's up guys? iPod Touch 2G Hacker here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get cracked apps on your iPod Touch 2nd generation jailbroken on 3.0 firmware. So first off, you want to have your Wi-Fi turned on. And go to Cydia. Now, um, if you've jailbroken before, you probably already know Haculus and Installus and all that. Um, for the 3.0, they're not releasing a mobile, like a firmware patch, like you had to install on the last on the last jailbreak. Um, they just kind of released the. Well, I'll show you in a second. Just gotta let City load here. Okay, so if you don't already know the source, I'll tell you right now, and I'll also have it in the description. Let's see if you can close in there. It's I can't see it too well. It's http colon slash slash cydia dot haculo h a c k u l o dot u s and then uh, you hit uh, add source and then it'll add it and then <coughs> in here is like the list of their things that they have on here Craculus uh, this like lets you crack your own apps and puts them out but w before what you needed to add was the uh, MI patch um, firmware 2.2.1 but since we're now on 3.0 what they what they've released is an app sync see it there and uh, this enables cracked apps to be synced to and from uh, your iPod and uh, there's a big warning here you gotta read it before you install uh, this patch you need to um, it might cause problems with your device and uh, make it so that you need to restore in DFU mode um, so be warned it's really you know you're at your own risk here and right after you install it you have to restart your device I already installed it so I'm not gonna do it here you just you know hit install or whatever you would see there it's not that big of a package so yeah and then uh, you also need to install inst well you don't really need to however uh, kinda makes everything easier you can install install this which uh, what it does is you know it it's like an app store kind of and uh... you you can download the apps from there for free so we'll go to install and hit confirm <clears throat> now um... cracked apps are something that's kind of really controversial cause you're kind of stealing in a way um, really you, I mean you can use this I'm not saying it it kind of is wrong but you know I'm just you know, caution I guess it's kind of same thing as you know downloading music online people do it anyways but you should probably support the developer now just go back to Cydia and we can go to our home screen now and there you go install this and there you go guys uh... you go in here I haven't really tried to see if it works or not but uh... I read that it, it wasn't really working a hundred percent with 3.0 but yeah Let's search an app here. Go in here. It's, um, that's a good one. Uh, let's search Pocket God since I already have that. Uh, 
and uh yeah you see kind of like a list of apps and it when you search when you pick the one that you want to download it gives you like a description the exact same description that's in the app store <clears throat> and uh you go down here it gives you like a list of what you which uh version you want to download so let's download the newest one 1 1.8 and it'll give you ipod friendly links which um is just easier to use i guess um and then you know you have sometimes you have a wide variety f to choose from sometimes you don't um i'll just choose the first one and then sometimes you gotta put in a code Alright, and hit done and submit. Got the brightness a little bit. And then, you know, it just gives you two options to either download or install. We'll hit download. It's around 14% right now. And then, yeah, now the downloading just depends on your Wi Fi connection and also how big the app is. So, if you're downloading like Beatmaker, you probably want to have a pretty good connection. And, you know, regardless of whether you have a good connection or not, it's going to take a while because it's a pretty big file. about halfway done now okay guys so now it's done at 100% you'll see the uh, status bar just filled up there Go into the download section and you'll see here all your downloads. I only have one since I'm, that's the only one I've downloaded so far. Then just tap on that and go down here and hit install. And you'll see there it's, you know, beginning to decompress everything and installing everything. This should only take a few moments and now you're done. So, um, that's really it. There's not much to it. Once you go back to your home screen, it should be there. Uh, here it is. I had the old version, so I should have installed the new version. Which I'm not exactly sure what the new version has. Should have probably read it. And there you go, episode 19. And, uh, that will, that's it for this video, guys. So, uh, if this video helped you at all, rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh, much more to come with the uh, new 3.0 firmware. Peace.